Hi everyone, welcome to the Delphi How-To Series videos. I'm Clay Pennington, Senior Product Specialist here at Delphi Product and Service Solutions. In this video will show you how to replace a fuel pump when you have an access panel instead of having to drop the tank. Make sure you follow all safety precautions and have safety glasses and gloves on hand. You have to relieve the fuel pressure first, so I went ahead and disconnected my electrical fuel pump connector and cranked the motor till the fuel pressure died off and the car died out. Fuel pressure is relieved. I'm going to go in there now. I've cleaned off around the outside a little bit, and I'm going to now disconnect the fuel lines. Okay, so now we're ready to access that retaining ring. I want to make sure it's clean around the top of the pump. I'm going to use a little compressed air just to make sure that no dirt falls into the, into the tank. Okay, so now that we've got this retaining ring loosened up, we're ready to remove it and pull the pump out. Tainer rings out, ready to lift the pump out. Now there'll be some fuel coming up with this fuel pump, especially if there's a lot of fuel in the tank. In this case, it's pretty full. So, got to maneuver the pump out of here without making that big of a mess. And have a container ready to uh, catch the rest of this pump fuel in. tight fit but ready to come out. So make sure you watch for the strainer, make sure you watch for the fuel level, arm. Here we go, fuel pumps out. Look at this, red one's got a square o-ring instead of round so just keep an eye on that. We're all set, we'll clean it up and then uh, get ready to put the new one in. Okay, so now that we're ready to drop this new pump back in the tank, we've got the tank area cleaned up, we've got a new O-ring in place. I transferred over the fuel line retainers from the old, old pump that have to go with the new one to hold the fuel lines on. Had to transfer those over. Some pumps you have to transfer them over, just watch what you have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the O-ring on and we'll slip the pump back in place. Make sure you guide the sending unit arm in place first, and then watch everything else go in. If you've got that securely put in place, make sure it fits down all the way in and we can move on to putting that retaining ring on. Okay, so now we've got the retaining ring back in place. I'm going to go ahead and snap these fuel lines in place. And after that, some pumps require a new electrical connector depending on the design. This one requires that. The other old style was a square four pin. New style is an uh, inline four pin. We're gonna have to transfer that over. Look at one of our other videos on how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap these uh, fuel lines back in place here, and, uh, and then check for leaks. lines are securely snapped in place and the retainer is in place and we can ensure leak free connection. Okay so once we've spliced in this new electrical connector we have to heat shrink these uh, heat shrinkable connectors that have glue inside them. Once we heat shrink those down with a heat gun and not a hair dryer not an open source flame we have a 
gas fumes may be around. Glue will come out of that connector and make that sealed connection and last a very long time. Okay, so now we've finished up with this wiring connector on this uh, vehicle. If the pump needs a new connector and comes with it, it'll come with a set of instructions on how to wire it up. Now you just fire up the pump, check for leaks, wrap up by putting up this, uh, the cover, and we're good to go. And there you've done it. Be sure to follow all safety precautions and you'll be back on the road in no time. Be sure to check out more of our Delphi How-To Series videos that help save you time in your shop every day.